How's it going guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and honestly I don't think I've ever had this much fun with a single team in the entirety of the game that includes heroes. Just the 70% lead teams won 20% leads. I did have a lot of fun with the entire team when Super Gogeta came out but honestly it doesn't even compare to this team in particular. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day as always and if you do enjoy today's video consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. Now let's quickly grab a Goku friend here. So I have Super Attack 1. Basically, in this video, we're going to be trying to take out the event. I didn't even know that was a card. We're going to be trying to um, take out this event with, um, without using any items, which I have done before off camera. So hopefully, I can replicate that on camera as well, of course. I honestly, this is, I think this is legit the first time where I'm just sitting there like, you know what? I feel like taking on Boss Rush with this team. Because normally, um, I would do it to show off teams. But I think this is the first time that I've been like, wow, I actually really want to try out this team against Boss Rush. So, so I went ahead and also fed my deep Goku Black into the LR one, which means he now has level 14 crit. Honestly, just a great decision. Like, after using him once, he's just been an absolutely phenomenal unit. It's not like he wasn't before, but with those crits added to him, he's just absolutely insane. And our health is crazy high as well, over 300,000. Our rotations are going to be... Um, pretty much the same throughout the entire event, well, for throughout the entire duration of the, um, boss rush stage. Finally got, managed to get those words out. So I'm going to have the LR paired up with Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, and then I'm going to have the, um, Ultra Instant Goku paired up with the Super Saiyan God Goku, just because they are easily one of the best partnerships in the team, and they just work super well together. And one thing that I didn't point out in my previous videos is that, the Goku, the new one, actually has a Kaioken type mechanic because he raises his own attack every time he super attacks, seemingly. I could be wrong, but that's what I saw in the Doken Wiki when someone pointed it out to me. So, we do have the rotation that we want straight away, but I think it's actually going to be a bit more beneficial to put the LR there just because he is going to be getting hit multiple times. He's going to be able to tank the hits anyway. Of course, I can, um, I can get them to come back around. And again, keep in mind that this is supposed to be a no item run, and I just realized that. And Pardon me, at the start of the video, I went ahead and picked up support items. But of course, I will be showing them off at the end. I'm hoping nothing happens in between, like a notification pops up or anything, just so that... Uh, let's go with this. But yeah, I'm hoping that a notification doesn't pop up like mid-video, so then I will have to like go ahead and just edit that out. It should happen. So let's go ahead and grab these. And honestly, if we're lucky, we should be able to take out the entire rotation this turn, because every single unit here, apart from Goku Black... I also have level 15 crits. I kind of went with a higher additional level when it came to Goku Black. Just because at the time, when I was leveling him up in the potential system, I did believe that he was better with the additional attacks. And that mostly comes down to the fact that um, he can debuff multiple times, of course. So he did get the debuff here. And, of course, the GO Blue, if we're lucky, we'll be able to take him out as well. Honestly, even if it's just a crit from a super or um, a crit from a counter, we should be fine. And... Triple super attacks. Can't complain about that. Is it going to be enough to take him out, though? Nope. The crits will take him out. Hopefully. And there it is. So, I believe we now have the LR in this rotation. Maybe. Okay, so definitely made a good decision there because he is going to be able to tank a lot of these attacks. Not going to be able to super attack, unfortunately. It was at, uh, it's actually kind of bad. Because it's going to put us at a bit of a disadvantage when it comes to defending. Because every time... Um, he super attacks, that is when his defensive stat goes up. It's not to say that he won't be able to tank, because he will, but he would have been able to tank super attacks a bit better. And you can see how much of a difference being paired up with God Goku actually makes when it comes to the um, Ultra Instant Goku, and most likely getting super attacks here, unless we get super lucky. And we got super lucky, and now we have Super Saiyan Rose with Goku Black, so let's go with Super Saiyan Rose here. And he has got a super attack, which is good. Honestly... I may have to risk it. It kind of sucks that I don't have the rotation that I want. And you have to keep in mind that on this particular lead, we are still kind of missing out on a bit of key. Which is one of the reasons why some of these units do struggle to super attack here and there. But it should be fine once we get past the Super Saiyan for Goku stage. I just really hope that he super attacks Roy's and there it is. We have a time advantage, so we are going to take less damage from this, which is perfect. And hopefully, debuff twice with Goku Black depends on whether or not he gets the additional... No additional there, but to be fair, 17k with a tight disadvantage, um, disadvantage is pretty good. Right, now we have the healing with the LR, which is going to help out massively, of course. And again, we are just in a situation where 
it's kind of bad when it comes to key links. I think this is probably the best thing to do. Granted, we do have a type disadvantage, but I don't know. Did I make the right decision? We are going to get the counters in, obviously. So, yeah, there we go. Can we get another one in? Maybe. And they're both crit. So, I definitely made the right decision here. It's just going to come down to how many super attacks the Geo Oblique can get and whether or not the LR can take him out. So, that's another crit with a normal attack. Another crit with a normal attack. And I think, yeah, it's over. I definitely made the right decision there. I kind of risk getting super attacked and taking a ton of, a ton of damage and kind of having to, like... Trying to get my health back through the healing of the um, legendary rare, but so, um, so far so good. Still don't have the rotations that I wanted, just because I have to, like I legit have to keep those particular rotations to make the team work. But I still have Super Saiyan Royce and Goku Black together at the very least, and it should pretty much be the end of it. The stage shouldn't cause us too many problems, and we are coming up on a Doku mode. So if I can get that during the last stage of this event. Or one of the stages where I have a type advantage with a unit that I can hit hard that would help out massively as well when it comes to recovering some of my health. And there's the one shot. I wouldn't have minded to get it during this particular stage just because, again, type advantage and such. But, um, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to put the LR in the last slot so it comes back with Super Saiyan Rose. And I'm going to put the Ultra Instant Goku in the last slot as well. So that he comes back round with my Super Saiyan God Goku. I think I've got it like sorted out now. And I don't really mind staying on this particular stage for one more turn. But wouldn't mind moving on to the next stage either. Because I would have a type advantage with Super Saiyan Rose. And if I get a Doku mode with him, that would allow me to recover a lot of my health. Honestly, probably all of it. Notification, nice. I, I knew it would pop up at some point. It doesn't show actually show what it is. Okay, so now we have Super Saiyan Rose. I'm going to put him in the last slot, which is what I wanted, and that is perfect. Uh, let's grab I mean, it doesn't really matter who we grab the rest of the orbs with, because it's... <sighs> I say that, and I don't even get a Doku mode. That is actually so annoying. I was like, yeah, going to get a Doku mode of Super Saiyan Rose, going to recover all my health. Never mind, I'm going to do a stupid thing and not recover any of my health. And the LR is not going to be back for like another turn, so... This could be a bad situation because having a type advantage of course would help us um, help us out massively as well does get the additional but not a crit and not the super attack either which kind of sucks and we are going to get a doku mode here for sure aren't we who's the best person to go with honestly probably the god goku just simply because of the attack links that were active with the ultra rare or ultra instant goku here I'm not going to heal as much as I would have with a Doku mode of Super Saiyan Rise, but it should be the majority of my health back. I'm not going to get attacked at all this turn anyway, because I am going to take him out for sure. I'm going to have the healing with the Legendary Rare next turn anyway, so I think I should have all my health back. And of course, we are going to be recovering consistently once I get the rotations that I wanted. So overall, it's not that bad. It just took a bit more time than I would have liked to. So here we go. And... Wow. So the crit definitely increased how much we're going to heal up here. And yeah, there we go. Back at his max. And this is a very solid rotation. So we are going to get the ultimate attack here. Super attack with Rose as well. And then we have the super attack with Goku Black. And honestly, if we're lucky here, we could actually take him out. Forget crit of the LR. It's pretty much over. Ultimate attack as well. I don't think he got attacked like the um, four times. But still got attacked a decent amount of times here. No crit. But still hit significantly hard. And we still have two chances with Goku Black and Super Saiyan Rose. So... We should be fine. And we've got the crit. We'll see the same rows. Getting super is active. But I believe Big Bad Bosses is active. Or it's going to be active. Okay, never mind. That was, like, surprising me. I'm getting so many... Oh, wow. Yeah. Just the notifications are popping up. Oh, okay. okay so, got that sorted. I just want to apologize in advance. And I knew it. I just freaking knew I was going to get a bunch of notifications at some point. So... We are going to have the Ultra Instant Goku paired up with the Super Saiyan Gold Goku, which is what I wanted from the start, of course. And then in the next rotation, Rose and LR Black and Demasu. So let's get things started with this. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that Gold Goku can get an additional super attack just to help us out a bit. And Vegeta actually took out way more than I thought it was going to. Wow, we actually lost like almost half our health. I think we lost more than half our health there. And of course, the passive is active, so... 
Gonna get, um, gonna be getting that additional 70% attack boost, and he is now capable of dodging, which is going to help us out massively against that final cooler stage where we are going to have a tight risk advantage, and we did take him out. Okay, for some reason I didn't think that was gonna be enough. It just shows you how like useful their key links that they share actually are. And you know what? Let's go over this. And I'm hoping that my mic wasn't buzzing the entire time because I just noticed that my phone was kind of close to the mic. And what happens is when my phone is close to the mic, it kind of does. Um, has its buzzing sound, so I'm hoping that that didn't happen. So I'm gonna keep it away from now on. All right, here we go. And already, like, honestly, I don't even think I got attacked that many times. I think this is the first time I got attacked, like, with them in particular. And um, big bad bosses being active, a lot of their attack links being active as well, just raises their attack to like such a high point. Uh, I'm pretty certain it could reach two million. Well, two potential system buffs do come into it now that I've done my dupe, but even so. Right, there we go. The GO Blue route that I can take him out here. And like I said earlier, we are going to have a Titus advantage with the Ultra Instinct Goku against uh, Final Form Cooler, but I believe in his dodging ability. Right, let's go over this. Um, what link is that? I'm actually not certain. I'm sure it's a pretty obvious one. Oh, it's Kamen Mahal. Wait, yes, it's the Kamen Mahal link because the Gold Goku doesn't have it, but Goku Black does, even though he doesn't do it. And of course, when he is above Super Attack 9, that is when he does the um, Black Power Ball, but prior to that, he does have the Common Mahar Super Attack. And thank God for that dodge, actually, because we are pretty low in health here. Just don't Super Attack me. You know what? Healing up this turn is actually going to be Super Clutch. And of course, we are going to have a type disadvantage once we move on to the next stage. So that was really... Honestly, taking this stage... Um, not I should say, rather... Um, not taking this stage out is actually a blessing in disguise. I'm trying to heal up um, heal up as much health here, of course. I think it may actually be a strategy to get rid of the Ultra Instinct Goku. I don't know, because he does have the dodging. But if I get super attacks, that's it. It's over. I have a GO Blue as well, so... Majority of us... See, it's just like... I think that this is probably the best thing to do. I can't... I mean, he's probably going to dodge. If I did put him in that last slot, he would definitely dodge. Pardon me, the majority of them. But I'd rather not risk it. And if he does get super attacks here, even better, because it's just one attack. Or the attack that would hit the hardest. And see what I mean? He didn't dodge, so... If he is going to super attack um, someone, I would really like it for it to be God Goku. And it wasn't. But GO Blue could be in trouble here, unless I get super lucky. And the thing is, he wasn't going to take that much damage from the normal attacks. It's just going to come down to the, um, you know, super attacks, of course. If I do, in fact, get super attacks. Could get lucky here, though. No super attack just yet. He's close to dying as well. Oh, game, please. Don't take me out. Just about. Wow, okay. That I, I knew that was going to happen. And, but, wow, this is actually going to be super close. Hello? Um, how many attacks are situated right in first slot? I mean, I didn't get super attacks, but that was definitely going to be a close one. Wow. Um, it may have been a bit beneficial to actually go ahead and put the Goku in there. I need a Doku mode, like, right now. I'm very close with one, so... If I'm, like, I'm definitely going to try to speed that up just so that I can get a lot of my health back. Because I legit have, like, 58,000 health. And having low health against Kid Boo would be just a... Terrible thing. Alright, at least we are getting a decent amount of super attacks here. I'm trying to collect as many orbs as I can at the same type just to speed up the Doku meter. And if I get super attacks, I just hope that the Goku is going to dodge it. Or at the very least, dodge the normal attacks. It's, it's supposed to be a higher chance as well. Alright, come on. Alright, I didn't take him out there. Of course, God Goku can't super attack or can't dodge, I should say. Okay, that's him taken out. Now we have the tech type stage. Okay, not the greatest thing, but it could be worse. Hmm. I'm really hoping that he doesn't super attack Rose. Like, big time. Doesn't matter too much if he... Again, doesn't matter too much if he super attacks the LR. Because we should be fine, but... Okay. We should be fine. Big Bad Boss is, is active as well. 33k. Could be worse. But we are super low in health here. And he got the crit. When I didn't really want to get it, this is actually going to be bad. If I don't get super lucky next turn, I think I'm, like, legit dead. And, of course, we got crits 
both times. Wow. Uh, how much health do I have here? Not much at all. Well then. Um, if I lose this, I want to apologize. Because I legit managed to beat it off camera, which kind of sucks. Goku, please dodge. He just doesn't dodge. He legit does not dodge. When I need it the most. Oh dear. I need Gogo to come and clutch here. Or just don't super attack me. That would help out massively as well. Why wasn't that a super attack? Why wasn't that a super attack? Goku Black, do not get super attacked. Or please, at the very least, get an additional. Get an additional. I have legit been blessed by Orange Jesus here. If I got super attacked there, I would, for certain, like, I, I would have lost. Without a doubt, would have lost. Okay, I'm definitely fine here, though. Wow, that was like... I was going to be so annoyed because I made it this far and I didn't even get a Doku mode. What? <laughs> and it was a crit. So, the good thing is, the Goku doesn't super attack too frequently here. So, I am going to be fine. I'm going to get a Doku mode with the um, Ultra Instant Goku, which is fine. But the issue is, if I get super attacked, I'm dead. So, having that health back, you know, at the start of the turn would have been freaking great. But, you know, it's fine. Finally, dodges. I'm hoping this is going to be close to taking him out. Because if I do get super attacked, I am pretty much done. I'm on... Uh, I actually think he doesn't super attack that frequently on the first rotation. So, I should be fine. But, if this super attack could take out the majority of itself, that would be great. Honestly, if I'm lucky, I could take out the entire rotation, like, straight away. Just with this single turn. So, 1.3 million... Right, now we have the God Goku, who's hopefully going to get crit, and then we have the Vegito Blue at the end, who's hopefully going to be the saviour of this video. Hmm. Hmm. It comes down to whether or not get super attacks. Vegito Blue, please get multiple super attacks. And there we go, another notification. Okay, come on. Just don't super attack me, be nice to me. Just do the countdown thing and then leave me alone. Or just normal attack me. That works as well. Right. How many... Uh, honestly, I think we're fine. I think we are fine. As long as I grab the physical type balls, I can grab a decent amount of health back as well. That was almost 2,000 health recovered. Just don't super attack me. We're living. Okay, we are living. Look at that attack style. Over 2 million. That is what he can do. That is what he can do. And he is taken care of. Oh dear. Um, now, what do I do? I'm trying to think about the rotations that I want because having the Ultra Instinct Goku would be terrible, admittedly, against Kid Buu. So, what I need is to ensure that I get the LR Black and Zamasu during the um, Kid Buu rotation where he super attacks multiple times. But I need to think about that in advance. So, if I take him out here, I'm going to have LR Black and Zamasu in the next one, which is not what I want. So, if I can stay here for one more turn, that would be great. But then, getting super attacks where I have a type disadvantage. 97k. Wow, that's annoying, admittedly. Come on now. Honestly, taking him out here would be bad. Or would it? If I, could, I think I can milk this to the point where I can stay on this particular rotation for a bit longer. Which is kind of what I want. So... I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive. Oh, no. I messed up. If... I think I messed up. Rose, please don't take him out. Just don't get crit. I think the GO may be able to take him out, which is the issue. I think I've lost. I've legit been blessed by Orange Jesus. What? Okay. Um. Um. Okay, this brings back nightmares because this legit happened on my no item attempts before. But this is perfect. I have the god Goku here. Wow, I don't think I've ever been this lucky. <laughs> wow, I was literally relying on that. Please just situate every single super attack in that first slot so I can put my god Goku there. And it happened. It friggin' happened. There we go. I legit have been blessed by Iron Jesus. And if you stuck all the way to this video, can we get ha um, hashtag God Goku? Hashtag God Goku if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys. I can't believe it. In before I still end up dying next turn somehow. 
Uh, honestly, I shouldn't die here. Right, so, let's grab these. It is going to be a close one with the boo next turn, but... Honestly, the fact that I even made, a, uh, made it that far is just amazing. Right, here we go. Ella Black and Zamasu. Let's take these guys out. For a moment, I was like, wait, what? Did he, did he live? Okay. So, again. Oh, my word. I'm getting so lucky here. And Goku's passive is active. Keep that in mind. Ultra Instincts, Goku pa Ultra Instincts, Goku's passive is active. But if he could super attack Vegito Blue, that would be the best thing ever. Because then I would have to rely on whether or not the um, Goku is going to dodge. Which is something that I don't want. Because he hasn't dodged anything in like the past few attacks that he had the ability to dodge. So he is going to get attacked one more time by Boo here. If it could be a super attack. Oh, wow. So... It's been a fun video. I hope you guys have been enjoying the video as always. And of course, if you have, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. It's going to come down to this, whether or not I get super attacked. Or maybe... <laughs> Never mind. The Goku just went ahead and took him out anyway. Wow, we actually did it. No, item, um, no items used. That was so hype. Honestly, it was so tough in, term, like, in certain situations. And of course, the Goku kind of screwed me over because he could have dodged. And I didn't get the rotations that I wanted initially, but in the end, it actually worked out like incredibly well, especially on that physical kid boost stage. Because the Go um, Goku, of course, did have a type advantage. And because of how high his defensive stat is, he should be capable of tanking a lot of the hits when it comes to super attack. So the fact that every single super attack was situated in that first slot honestly just helped me out a ton. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.